Alright, how's it going guys here today? This is Greg from Lexi Productions and I want to show you guys how to frame a subject. Now, um, I don't know how I managed to get my dog to actually um, sit in a chair. Uh, and, and honestly, I don't know what he's doing, but in the meantime, we can get some enjoyment out of Odie sitting in a chair. Okay, first thing here, and I'm going to show you guys, we're framing a subject. If you're doing just a straight on and he's talking directly to the camera, you want to have him in the center. I'm using a way system here, so I didn't really fully calibrate it, but you want to have him in the center within, and his eyes at the, the guy line up on top. See the guy line on top, and I close it out. And you want him on there, and then you go ahead and press record, and, and you go ahead and he's going to be in the center. And so if you wanted a second angle, if you wanted a second angle over here, I'll show you guys what a second angle would look like. This would be a tighter shot. A uh, tighter shot to be meant more for, you know, uh, you wanted to go ahead and get up and personal in a person's face and you wanted to frame it. Let's say you're doing, actually, since this is an animal, I can't really do that, but we'll go ahead and do an, an interview style. Uh, the interview style would be like this. And when you ask him questions, they'd be better off in this direction. When you ask him questions, you go make sure to frame them properly. Go out of focus. What I do, I go out of focus. Not like on here. So what I do here, here it is, it's out of focus. I go into focus here. So it's out of focus and I bring it to focus. And now he's in focus. So he's framed towards the left and if I were to interview him, I'd be on the right. So looking at the screen over there, if I looked, let's say if I were to interview him, I'd have to flip the screen out a bit this way. If I were to interview him, he'd look at me, look at the camera, and he's looking towards this direction, he's looking at me, why, like he's kind of thinking, why is, he, why is this happening? I'm take advantage, take a photo of him. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's just a really awkward dog. So I'm gonna hit record on that, and then I'll hit record on this camera right here. And nice Sony camera. So we hit record on both. Now you're syncing audio. This thing will actually let me record. And if you had a second guy in the back, you know, recording, he'd be on the sides. Maybe let's see, getting some interesting shots over here. I'm going to bring up the audio just a bit. Oh, that's perfect. And so there he is. He's in the center. If you need to reframe him to the right to go, you know, get that right shot, have him to the right. And then when you went ahead and interview the subject, he'd be looking this direction. And if you notice, he's not looking at the cameras, he's looking at you, but you have to be at eye level with him. So I do the same here. And then when I interview him, let's say I ask a question to Odie. Odie, how old are you? And he's just gonna awkwardly look around. So that's how you frame a subject for those out there that wanna you know, frame rule thirds. Remember that, you can get creative sometimes and use centered shots. Um, mostly recommended to go with having if you're interviewing someone on the right, they have to be on the left. If you're even interviewing someone on the right on the rule thirds, you have to interview them on the left of the camera. And remember, kind of have a camera operator every once in a while. We're try our best not to fiddle with the camera when interviewing someone. So the so the subject, the person I'm interviewing, like Odie here, will just be concentrated more on me looking at me, which she's looking directly at the camera, and he's not looking at the screens that could be po the cameras that could be possibly distracting him and I'll make a good interview now just remember DSLRs are harder to focus uh, so you can see I still have some troubles because smaller screen is harder to focus and this works out really well and trust me when you start getting better at it um, your subjects will enjoy being with you and honestly I don't know how I managed to make this video but there, there's the subject, there's the two cameras. Remember, be on the right of your framing like that. Make sure to pull focus, and there's Odie, our wonderful, our very wonderful interviewee. And he looks kind of disappointed. I don't know why he's dirty, he needs a bath again. But that's how you do it, you guys. Just remember, frame, pull focus properly, like what I just did right now. And make sure to go ahead and once you pull focus, set it and let it. But they move around, you have to reset that focus. So once someone moves, you have to go ahead and reset focus. So I removed, and let's say I want to get a wide shot. I zoom in, pull focus, 
I zoom out and he's in focus. It's a for sure trick. It's been used for many years and it hasn't failed whatsoever. Unless auto focus finally replaces manual focus, which that's that's a joke and it won't really happen in the DSLR world unless the Canon 7D really starts hauling it. So that's really nice. I, you know, it's a good video and it looks like our our interview is done and he's gonna go sniff around and eat all the crumbs that Austin left in the video that'll be coming up shortly or before this video. So that's all you guys is Griffin Legacy Productions. Uh, thank you for watching this video and actually how to frame your subject. Now my subject is eating off the floor to pack up the studio. And I will be going inside to edit two new videos for the channel. So thank you for this tutorial, for you watching it and all that fun jazz. Um, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to, you know, leave a comment for Odie. What do you think about him being a good subject for this video? And that's all you guys. This is Greg from Legacy Productions. And see you later.